Hi, this is Abhishek from Team Happy Pie and I'm here to help you add the e-wallet feature in your Happy Pie app. With the e-wallet feature in your app, your users can add money, make payments or purchase the required products without having to enter all the details every single time they want to buy something from you. Let's see how it's done. Go to a no-code app building platform. If you've already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add e-wallet page to your app. Else, click on get started to build your app. Here, we will show you how you can add the e-wallet page to your new app. First, enter your business name here and click on next. Then, enter the purpose of your app and click on next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, system will add certain pages to your app. Now click on save and continue to finish creating your app. If you see that the e-wallet page is already added to your app, click on it. Else, click on view all, search for e-wallet and click on the page to add it to your app. The existing app users can add the e-wallet page into their app in exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added e-wallet page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from our library or add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and website. Now let's move to content section. Click on manage. You will be redirected to eWallet dashboard. Click on configuration settings under general settings in left hand side menu panel. This is the currency code in which you want to accept payments from your users. You can select it as per your needs. Once done, click on save. Next comes allow users to add money in the wallet. By default, it is turned on. If you want, you can turn it off as well. Next up, authenticate using touch ID before payment. If you want, you can turn it off as well. Now comes adding payment method. First comes PayPal Express. To enable this option, you need to provide PayPal ID here. Next comes adding credit card via Stripe payment gateway method. To enable this option, you need to provide live publishable key and live secret key. You can follow our tutorial how to get live publishable key, live secret key and client ID from Stripe to get these keys. Once done, click on save to continue. Now click on language settings under general settings. Here you will see all of the default alert messages being displayed in the e-wallet feature. If you want, you can change them from here. Next comes CMS pages. Here you can provide terms and conditions as well as privacy policy for the e-wallet feature. Once done, click on save to continue. Now click on manage transactions. Here, you can manage all your e-wallet transactions. Once you're ready, close the e-wallet window. Let's check out page style and color scheme now. From here, you can change page elements color, font style and font size as per your needs. Once done, click on save and continue. If you found this latest edition of App Academy useful, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. And if you are interested in more such awesome stuff, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press on that bell icon so that you do not miss out on such awesome stuff.